in our lifetime on this planet. What together we can do, north and south, east and west, in all corners of the earth. Take me away from home. Show me all the places I've never known. So we're back in Lesotho Ren and now we're going to have a well-earned coffee break. Got a lovely bit of artwork on this wall here. Really nice. See if you can see it better from over here. That's really cool. So we're just uh, getting a private tour here, <laughs> up above the uh, little village of Lesotho in. And these steps are really steep. So there's a little bar in the corner where we just had a nice cup of coffee and you can leave your car keys behind the bar and then it'll give you access to this old, wow, the old fortified city wall. <laughs> and there's the key. Yes, the key. The <laughs> Wow. Oh. So we get an entrance into the uh, the old city gate. <laughs> Didn't know this place my existed. Stairs in. Uh oh. This is what I love about France. There's no health and safety things here at all. Just take the keys and go and help yourself. Wow, in you get. Oh, these stairs are. Right, it's going to get dark in here, so let's have a little look. Oh, I can't get my shoulders in. It's official. Yeah. Can smell the pigeon. Pigeon coop. What's that in there? Get up. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's right up. Oh, 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 Health and safety gone wrong. Look at that. Say goodbye. Au revoir. <laughs> okay, 
So there's a little bar in the corner. You can't miss it. Little cafe bar. Sells coffees. Oh, and get your throw your car keys behind. Get the keys out and come and check this out. Bring some sensible shoes. Sensible shoes. Yeah. That's really not a <laughs> no. There you go. See you down the bottom. Hopefully, slow time. <laughs> So we've managed to do it again folks, we've uh, moved on from the Sutu Inn, from that uh, little walk up into the historic walled gated area, onto the uh, fortress walls, and we've arrived at a little village called Le Bourg. Pardon? Oh, Le Grand Bourg. And everything's shut, because it's France, and they just shut everything, and it gets hot. What a lifestyle, eh? We're just bimbling around now. I just had a uh, nice lunch. There's a little cafe around the corner there. Served ham and chips and a lovely, like, real thick oh, cheese sauce. You'd yeah. have seen it on the uh, picture or the video earlier. Really, really stunning. And it was called Allo Allo. Allo Allo. There you go. <laughs> It's really colourful here. Normally in France you have to abide by a certain thing for your shutters. Don't know if people know that. So uh, probably about 10 years ago, everyone, everyone who wanted to move to France wanted to have this light blue shutters. Well, that all depends on the mairie. The mairie can tell you to remove the colours because some villages have a theme. Whereas this one, I don't think it's got a mairie to be fair because it seems like you can paint them every which way you want. There's a few little shops at the top, place to eat, a nice cafe, restaurant. Yeah, worth a little visit if you're in the area. We have no idea. We think we're going to look at some rooms with a history of what it was like to live in the village. Possibly of what it was like to live in the village from 1879 onwards. If you don't know French, I don't recommend doing what we just did. <laughs> If you know French, it's probably very informative. But for us, we just sat through some kind of historical reproduction of uh, somebody's life who lives in this little town here. And uh, didn't understand a word of it. Well, good morning. We're uh, now heading back up the road north to spend a nice uh, couple of nights in Lesotho Inn. And now we're going to go off and find somewhere to spend our last night and have a look around before heading to Dunkirk in the morning. Just push up the road a bit. See how we get on. So guys, we've uh, made it to a conventional campsite. We was gonna rough it for one last night, but then we decided that there's still a bit of a drive tomorrow. It'd be nice to get up and have a proper shower in the morning before uh, that horrible drive back to Dunkirk, over the ferry, and then back into Blighty and the travel up to Suffolk. And uh, we're just about to go for a wonder and see what's around. 
been quite a long drive to be fair. It's an easy drive because we mucked around stopping at McDonald's and a few other places. It's, uh, as you well know, it all adds up to the time. Before you know it, you're tired. So we left the suit in at around 10 o'clock and it's now quarter to five. So it's been quite a long drive. It's like a stunning area. So uh, we're gonna go and have a look around. I might bring you with me. In case you ever wanna, uh, in case you ever wanna try this alternative route. Camping Lille de Trois Bois. And when you come off this roundabout, you have to come in and come into that car park. Go down there. guys must be uh, sick of me saying it. But again, this is why we love the camper van life. You can just explore and find new places that you, you wouldn't find in a, you know, for a normal holiday or a package tour or anything like that. Right at the top there is a willow tree. I love, absolutely love willow trees on the side of a river. It takes me back to when I was a kid and I had a book I think called the water babies and in there one of the illustrations was of this big willow tree going down into the water yeah strange isn't it it's made a profound impression on me and the weeping willow what's so special about weeping willows they're tony's favorite <laughs> they are. Someone thought it would be a good idea to uh, take a sneaky look at that uh, ruined chateau. <sighs> Past closing time. Oh, God, this is a workout. Need a pizza after this, that's for sure. Better be worth it at the top, I'll show you. Well, we made it, guys. We uh, walked through the shrub down there behind me, all the way down there, and we've made it to the top, and uh, quite an impressive view there is once you get up here. And that just there is our campsite. And then just over this side is the uh, little village with the restaurants, cafes, souvenir shops and bits and pieces like that. Well worth a visit and a stopover. We're going to actually mark this down for another stopover uh, next time we come out. I think there's quite a bit to see around here so uh, yeah. And Giverny is not far up the road so you could do Monet's uh, house like we did on the, in our early adventures in Hugo 
and then uh, make your way further towards this way. Oh, it's a knob. Castle, done. I don't think there's much more to see if you uh, came up here during normal opening hours. It'd allow you to get into that part there. But that isn't that big. So uh, it's been a pleasant, pleasant walk. Now we're going to uh, head back to the campsite. What are you doing? Put a sticker on Freddy. Because we're in Normandy. So we have a Normandy sticker. Now, we're hopefully going to fill all of this at some point, or I could just put it up here. There is a reason it's going to go over here, if it goes over here. Oh, what's that then? I can't see us taking Freddy from here, all the way around here, down here, around here, around here. Is it square? Yes, that would do. That would do. <laughs> I've got air bubbles in. I bet you move it later. Now why would I want to do that for, darling? I bet you've just taken out a whole continent <laughs> <laughs> with Normandy. Is it a sad day today? It's a very sad day. To drive back to Dunkirk. So we've got the uh, about a three, four hour drive up to Dunkirk. We've got quite a late crossing today, four o'clock. So that'll be a quite late home time we get back. So we need to get back home, clean the van, and go exploring again. That's what we need to do. We do indeed. So we're just going for a walk uh, in Dunkirk while we wait for the uh, ferry. So wandering, <laughs> wandering through the streets of Dunkirk and I'm wearing this t-shirt. And then dead opposite is a Volkswagen Beetle meat. Oh, I used to love these. Huh? Still a big thing out here then guys. Remember bombing up and down South End Seafront. Give me 1300 1972 bug. I've still got a real soft spot for them. And of course, the uh, split screen and uh, T2 camper vans, which my family owned one split screen and two, uh, no, two split screen and one uh, top two. Just, just like them. Oh my god. If my dad watches this, he'll see this one I'm about to point out. Aww. And this is the colours that he painted it for some reason. Bring back memories, Dad. <laughs> What do you think of that thing, folks? If you've got a Volkswagen, this is where you need to be. Oh, I wouldn't like to guess how many cars it is here, would you? Uh, what do you reckon? 100, 200? Yeah. 200 cars? Just keeps going. Just keeps going and going and going. I can't believe we stumbled across this. Again, stumbled across it.
as we were sitting outside of the ferry, it's very noisy inside. We just don't. Yeah, that's very true. And it's uh, we can see the white cliffs coming up quite rapidly now. So I think we're going to call this adventure to an end once again. So thanks ever so much for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed this trip. And uh, we'll see you both soon. See you both soon. See we both soon. see you soon. <laughs> Take Bye. care. Bye.